Welcome back to a new video. It is me, and y'all know who I am. <laughs> no, let me stop. I'm Kino Body. For yours, for those of you who don't know, my name's Kino Body. This is my YouTube channel. I also have an Instagram, Kino underscore McKenzie. And I just finished my buffalo my buffalo chicken reel. So I wanted to show you guys what dinner looked like tonight before I start cleaning up and stuff. Here we go. That's just ranch um, dipping sauce, but buffalo chicken tonight. I'm wrapping this up now because we, so honestly, can you guys see? So what really is going on is I cooked a little earlier than I normally would. I cooked a little earlier than I normally would because I just did not want to be cooking late today. And I also wanted to try to get my reel prepped for Instagram earlier in the day. Um, because, like, to be quite honest with y'all, doing this shit, like, cooking daily and, like, you know, posting daily and stuff. Like, y'all know, it's a lot of work. Like, the fuck? <laughs> so, the earlier I can get it done, the better. Um, and... I'm not doing anything right now as far as content is concerned. Um, Fitz is editing. He's wrapping up this vlogmas video for you guys. Well, for the other channel. And so I was like, let me jump in the kitchen and start. Ciao. I'm trying to make sure I'm in the frame. I'm like, make sure, let me jump in the kitchen and start my um, start dinner. So that way I have that content filmed and ready for tomorrow. Um, as you can see, the sink is looking a little messy. I'm going to clean up in a little, probably not right right now because I'm talking to you guys and, wow. So I did this stupid thing again, guys. I blocked the freaking pod tray from opening correctly. Wait. Yeah. I blocked the pod tray from opening correctly, so where I figured I could just pop these in the dishwasher now, I have to rerun the dishes because the thing never opened correctly for the pod to get used. Um, so, blah. It's cool. It's fine. It's not fine. I wish I could just clean up right now and be done with it, but whatever. Mmm. It's nothing like a fresh glass of ginger ale. But anyway, in a little while, we're going to step outside. I'm waiting for Fit to finish editing this video because we have to go grab some weed for today. Um, and honestly, like, I don't know if we like smoking hookah as much as we used to. Like, yesterday I made, I like put the hookah together and stuff and we only smoked it for like five minutes and then we just like, Put it to the side. So I was gonna say we could like spark up the hookah and just like vibe, but we could just smoke some weed and just chill. Um, yeah, like we don't have to like the hookah. And it's honestly not good to smoke hookah every single day either. Woo. So I'm feeling real bloated and I'm sure I look bloated as hell because I had a slice of apple pie and um, before I had a slice of apple pie, I had a slice of lasagna. So. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't think um, I need to be doing any more carbs for the rest of the night. I think I'm just, probably just gonna have a couple pieces of chicken later on after every smoke and I have the munchies, just have a couple pieces and that'll be it for my evening. I'm not going to eat too much. Um, for those of you who are keeping up with my journey, 
Ivana sent me over, excuse me. I don't think I told you guys my surgery date yet and I don't want to tell anyone my surgery date until after I have surgery because I told you guys where I'm going. And so <laughs> I'm just gonna tell you guys my date after. Or I'll just post what I post, like just keep up with my videos, how about that? Um, but yeah, so Ivana reached out yesterday and they were like, hey, we sent your questionnaire out. Um, you are getting close to your 30 day window. Um, we're gonna need you to go get your labs soon. You know, in the next couple of weeks, I need to go get my labs done and turn back in. Um, so yeah, the process is starting to get here. It's starting to creep up. <laughs> and I'm just taking it one day at a time. There's a lot going on. As you guys know, I tell you guys everything. There's a lot going on in general, so I'm just like, oh, here we go. I just wish I could just get it over with and just wake up tomorrow and it'd be done. Like, that's really how I feel. But anyway. Smoke is in the room. Yeah, he's not over here. Smoke is in the room chilling. You guys are still showing me bad love on Instagram. Thank you. And yeah, I'm about to just chill and relax. And I'll see you guys probably when I'm smoking. <laughs> because he think he is motherfucking slick. Anyway, what's up, bodies? What's up, Kimbox? Good morning. So I just wanted to update you guys real fast. I just got off the phone with my healthcare provider, I guess. I don't know what to call them, but um, I just made my pre-op testing appointment. Um, unfortunately, it's gonna be in the Bronx because the place I go to, they have a few different locations, but the earliest that they could see me within the window that I need my tests done and my results back is um, January 3rd. And it's funny because that's the same day that Smoke has to get his shots done. So, 
Is that the third? Oh, okay. So I was gonna have to try to um, move his shots time around because we could go get his shots done early, then we could just head to the Bronx, da, 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 but they said that's not the case. Anyway, <clears throat> so right now, literally just got up, jumped on the phone. I am currently heating up my water for my tea, I mean my coffee. Fitz just wanted orange juice this morning. And at the same time, I'm refilling the humidifier that we have in our living room. I'm about to turn on. Whew. Turn on these lights so it's a little better for you guys. But yeah. So this holds up to 10 liters of water. And it lasts about two to three days, honestly. Um, which makes me really happy because not having to fill this up every day is a good thing. And I honestly genuinely feel like it makes a difference in the air quality in the living room. Um, we have one in our bedroom. I'm, gonna, I'm probably gonna plug that one in and turn it, it's full. I just haven't turned it on yet for today. And I like this one a lot too because it has, it like lights up and stuff, but it's really freaking heavy, so. Oh, I'm right back. Oh. This is not good for my knee in the morning. I'm gonna tell you that right now. This was not a good idea. Oh. Okay. All right. I'm just putting the lid on it, guys. Give me one second. Smoke, how can I help you, though? Because you know you want to punish me. You're lucky I took you out. Turn this on. And turn it on. Okay. All right, guys, let me show y'all. First of all, back up, little badass. So here we are. See, it like changes color. It would look a lot better in the nighttime, but this is basically what our humidifier in the living room looks like. And what's funny is um, it's not gonna stay in that corner. I'm actually, we're actually gonna relocate um, smoke to that corner once Vlogmas is over because that's literally where he's going to be. We have him in the living room right now, but it's cool. So I am posting a reel today on Instagram. I actually have it all prepped and ready to go. The reel that I'm gonna be posting today is this buffalo chicken wings that I made last night. Um, double baked, so they were extra, extra good. Whenever I do wings, they're usually double baked wings. I don't just do one round. I like to bake my wings, like fully to semi-fully, take them out, like double coat them in whatever seasoning I'm using and then pop them back in for a bit more crisp and depending on if I let them fully cook the first time, you know what I mean? Like to, to finish that off and stuff. But yeah. Right now it's 11.13. I'm gonna post that probably at 11.30. Um, I am going to be closing out a video for you guys today. So Whatever I do today, I'm gonna try my best to vlog. Although, bitch, it's so cold in New York. If niggas don't have to go outside, we're not going outside. <laughs> I wanted to cook salmon today, but who the fuck is walking all the way to Stop and Shop? I think what I'm going to do is make a grocery order on Amazon <laughs> and do it that way. <laughs> I might do that because like in all honesty, like the stop and shop is like kind of far from where we live. In the winter, in the summer it's not far, but in the winter it's it's, it's far. Um, what'd you think? Very far. He said it's very far. Um, so smoke peed on the bed today. Not a good move, boy. Luckily we have mattress protectors and stuff on the bed, but um, he peed on the bed. It wasn't a lot though, it was like a quick little spray, 
But it did happen, it did seep through the duvet. So where the, we like scrubbed the duvet and stuff with that like dog spray. And now we have it drying. Um, if I don't like the aroma, then I'm just going to change the whole bedding. But we did just put that duvet on. So I'm going to see if maybe his dog spray are just like, cause it's the dog spray smells good. And it's supposed to like kill the like pee and stuff, you know, whatever. So we'll see if that doesn't work then we're going to change our bedding. I'm a little sad because we only have one Christmas duvet and that's what he peed on. So hopefully it's not that bad because if it is bad, then I gotta go. We got some content in it. I mean, we can wash it and redo it, but we only do laundries, um, laundries. We do laundry like later on in the week. Um, it's Monday, right? Today's Monday. So because it's Monday, we probably won't do laundry until like Wednesday because it's just easier that way with a building full of children. People be trying to get their kids right for school and I get it. So I try to like work around the moms and you know, the parents and their schedules and stuff. But yeah, I'm just watching him. And what's funny is he's getting better though. Like he, he'll now like sniff out his pee pad to go like make his little tinkles and stuff. Especially when he gets in trouble. Like, when he gets in trouble, it's over. Like, he'd be like, oh, no, no, no. I'm going to go pee on the pad. I just took him out of his crate because when he gets in trouble, we put him on the, we put him in his crate and we put his blanket over the crate. You know, it's like a timeout kind of thing. He hates it so much. He just cries and cries and cries and cries. So I feel like it's starting to seep in. What? It's starting to seep in. <laughs> Do you guys want to see him? Say hi. <laughs> Say hi to the people. Hi, bodies. <laughs> Say hi, bodies. Hi, Ken Bots. Hi, good morning. Look, 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 look at Psycho. Look at Psycho. Look at Psycho. <gasps> He's a crazy puppy. He's so cute. I, we love him. We literally are obsessed with him. We can't even stay mad at him long because he's so freaking cute. Hi, baby. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna enjoy this beautiful large cup of coffee. And I'm probably gonna cut make bacon or something in a little while. Jesus love. We need to it's so bad. We don't even want to get haircuts. Like that's how bad it is, bitch. We just wanted to stay in this house. It's so cold outside. Oh <gasps> so anyway. Oh my god, you see how ashy I am? I just went out of bed, y'all. Like, give me a break, please. Give my I need to give myself a break. I'm sure y'all don't even care. But, um, yeah, I'm about to drink my coffee and just chill for a little while. Just, you know, enjoy my morning and take it easy. So I'll see y'all in my next clip.
what's up guys so i am back in the room now as you can clearly see um in the last clip um you saw us well you saw me doing a quick so what you saw i'm sorry in the last video was whew, was us cleaning up after an unboxing i'm sorry i was just my wi-fi was dropping just now i don't get what's wrong with verizon's wi-fi but anyway um i was doing a quick unboxing in the last clip and that was for the other channel um and we were cleaning up but i'm really 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 loving scissors new album like scissors new album is it's doing for me what what summer's last album did for me like does that make sense or kalani's last um not her last album but um the quarantine album like it's doing those it's giving me those vibes like you know so I'm really loving it. We were playing that just now. So I hope you guys enjoyed my little montage um, while we were doing that. But at the moment, I'm currently watching Alexis Rebecca. I just paused her vlog. She is so funny. Her and her boyfriend. Her boyfriend isn't always on the channel with her. Um, but I liked last year, I think they did Vlogmas together was when I really started watching them a lot. Well, when I really started watching them, period, because I never really um, watched her channel before. But they're a dope couple. Um, she's it's really just her channel and like her boyfriend just like pops in. Um, but she's really funny, she's really cute, and I like her style and stuff, but like, she's a vibe. So if you guys aren't already watching Alexis Rebecca, run over to her new well, run over to her channel and tell her Kino Body said hi. <laughs> but at the moment, I'm currently about to start doing some Amazon reviews. Um give you guys a quick look at what my screen is looking like so these are all the items these are some of the items here that i'm about to review everything with a yellow tag next to it is something that i need to leave a review behind i currently have 137 items that i need to review um and all in all i've reviewed 679 items so that just goes to show you how active i am on my with this amazon um vine program that i'm in um so yeah i honestly don't really have anything else to do oh i wanted to talk to you guys about the shows that i put in my um oh i already ordered the thing okay um i wanted to talk to you guys about the shows that i put in my in this video um in a couple clips um before this so last night we were watching <clears throat> zeus and we were watching now that's tv um, I don't believe I got any Zeus footage for you guys because I was, it was really just Chris Sean and, and, um, Blueface's show. So I wasn't really, I'm not really sure how I feel about the show or how I was going to feel about it prior to watching it. So I didn't film anything. Um, but I did film something from Big Lex's Daddy collection. I, I filmed some of the fights just so you guys can have an idea of what Sundays look like <laughs> at my house. Um... And I filmed, what else? Oh, Deja Vu. Yeah, I filmed a fight on Deja Vu. And so those are shows that are on the Now That's TV platform. Um, Big Lex is someone that was on Jocelyn's show. She was on one of Jocelyn's, she was the girl that was like, damn, double homicide. Like she's the girl that went viral for double homicide, like saying that, that's who Big Lex is. And she's really fucking funny, and she's a cute girl, and her show is really cool. I mean, it's kind of similar to Jocelyn's show. I mean, they all kind of are similar to Jocelyn's show. They're just with, without the um, the stripper, like, focus point. Do you know what I mean? Um, they're calling themselves baddies, and they do challenges and stuff. It's, it's, a, it's a funny show, and they obviously fight, as you guys can see. Um, so the, I think the last fight I was showing you guys, no, that's not the last fight, but one of the fights I was showing you, there was someone with a skirt on and they were like beating somebody up that was on the floor. That was a boy. Um, and I'm only saying boy because he identifies as a boy. He just, he doesn't identify as a trans, um, or a drag. I don't know what, 
the, the the correct term for him specifically is but he identifies as him and i think the name is cologne his name is cologne so um but yeah that's what that fight was just in case anybody was confused on why this woman was beating up this man it wasn't a woman there were two men but they were just unevenly matched basically and yeah that was getting crazy like all right so last like last week when we were watching it that's how it ended like that's how the episode ended and we were and me and Fitz both just looked at each other and was like are you stupid like why would you end the episode like this we literally like mouths hit the floor and was just like oh, why is he beating up this guy and then the episode just like ends so we were like what in the fuck so anyway um I'm about to wrap this up because Fitz is actually filming in the next room and I don't want you guys to hear too much chaos in one video so I'm going to focus on this, watch Alexa's vlog, and I'll see you guys when I am done cooking these tacos because I'm about to cook. Guys, I'm cooking burrito tacos. So I'm super excited because I've never... Oh my God. My puppy has destroyed these Ugg slippers that I have. Anyway, I've never cooked burrito tacos before. And it's not really burrito tacos. It's just the style of burrito tacos with like the taco and then like the dipping sauce with like the beef and stuff like that's what i'm doing but i'm doing it my way i'm not doing it the, the traditional i don't know what ethnicity it is but i'm not doing it the, that traditional way i'm doing it kino's way so stay tuned for that i'm not gonna put the reel or cook on here but i'm going to insert a photo And if you guys want to see the recipe and what it looks like and da 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 you can always jump over to my Instagram page the following day because that will be aired. That will be posted tomorrow. So it all makes sense. It's all a method to my madness. Um, and tomorrow just so happened to be Taco Tuesday too. That's so cool. Well, you guys will see it on Taco Tuesday, so it makes sense for you. Um, so yeah, I'm going to wrap this up and I'll see you guys in my next clip. Hey, guys. Wait, let me close this. What's up, guys? So I wanted to jump on here because I'm wrapping this video up for the vlog. I'm like, what am I trying to say? And I am preparing my, my plate of the burrito tacos for tonight's dinner. This is my dipping sauce for my burrito tacos. If you eat burrito tacos, then you know. So what I did was, let me try to find a place to put you guys so you can see me. So, oh yeah, that's awful. So basically, So basically, I made them, but I just made them my way. Um, I didn't do all of the traditional peppers and stuff. Ooh, this one came out a little messed up, but the rest of them are perfect. No, like all the ones I made for Faith came out perfect. This one is a little ugly. But we gonna make it work. Yeah, we gonna make this motherfucker work. <laughs> so anyway, I definitely wanted to jump on here and close my vlog out. Like I said, I was going to. This one came out so bad, guys. Look at that. It came out so bad. But on the plate you go. Cause you will be getting eaten with the rest of them. Um, whatever. So this is what it looked. This is what my plate assembled looks like. It's my dipping sauce with my two burrito tacos that are alive and my zombie taco. That's what I'm gonna call the third one. It's a zombie taco because that one is dead. Okay. Put that right there. But anyway. Making the burrito tacos my way, um, it honestly wasn't that much of a challenge that I thought it, like I thought it was gonna be. Um, not doing it the traditional way with all the different spices and stuff that um, 
I guess it's from its like origin. Uh, I just be trying not to say like disrespectful things or ignorant things. I was gonna say like the Hispanic way, but like I'm not 100% sure that it's a um, Hispanic um, originated like dish. Like I don't know how to explain that. But sometimes I just try to be cautious of what I'm saying. Smoke is behind me. He just woke up from his little nap. Child, when I tell you all sheep do is motherfucking sleep. Eat, sleep and sleep and eat and eat and sleep. Let's not forget shit and piss. Like, he is, yeah, he's been killing us with this. Um, with this bathroom situation. <laughs> he actually got in trouble earlier and was put on timeout. Fitz was like, I've had it up to here. He was so mad. Um... But yeah, guys, it's another, you know, chill vlog. You guys got to see my tacos. I don't know. It's a chill day. Um, we haven't gone outside once today. I don't think we're going outside at all. It's just not giving that in this cold weather. It's really not. Um, I told you guys earlier, I scheduled my appointment for my pre-op, um, like blood work and stuff. So that's coming up in a couple of weeks. Um, as far as my knees concerned, today was an okay day. I think because I didn't go outside and expose it to the cold weather, it's not as throbby and stuff. And I like have been just resting it. So I think that's a good, good remedy. Um, keeping out of the cold and just resting it as much as I can in between doing things, I think just makes the most sense for me pain-wise. So I'm not trying to be living on opioids. Like, that's not happening. I'm going to try my best to never take them, actually. Um, but, yeah, guys. So excited to be going to Miami in a couple of weeks. Let's, let's get it right, get it right! <laughs> so excited. So at least that's something to make me happy that throughout all the, I mean, Fitz makes me happy and, and Smoke makes me happy, but like throughout all the personal stuff that I'm dealing with, with like my knee and stuff, at least this upcoming surgery is something that will like, it makes me happy. And like, even if it's just, you know, some personal stuff, it just, it just makes me happy. And I need to find, I need happiness amongst all this chaos. Cause I, if not, I will be depressed and crazy all the time dealing with all this crazy shit. Ugh. But anyway, it's been such a great vibe, and I'm just going to keep it up. Fitz is in the room finishing up a vlog, and he's eating his tacos, so I'm going to go join him. Um, he actually want, um, asked me to grab him some strawberry lemonade juice while I'm standing here running my mouth. I think I actually want juice as well. Let's see. Did you come for your juice? Yes, I'm thirsty. <laughs> I told you guys, I'm like, oop, he um, definitely just asked me for juice. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. I think I'm just gonna finish this off because it's only like, oh, it's enough. It's a glass. What happened, baby? You okay? Smoke is so cute. All right, my bodies and my Ken bots, I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching this video and supporting me. All my new subscribers, welcome. All my old subscribers, welcome back. Oh my God, every time he pees, he walks right in the puddle. Even if he pees on the pad, he walks right through the puddle. And now his paws... And then he just comes stand next to me. I love you guys, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>